hands. Does it seem good now? Say it's not saying we're dropping frames, which is a good sign. So somebody's being loud outside, but that's par for the course. Um, great. Okay, wonderful. Uh, fantastic. That actually hasn't happened to me in a while, um, where I've had bitrate issues, so that was startling. But I think that we are good to go now. Everything seems to be working. Cool. Actually, I'm gonna let Twitter know. <laughs> I don't know how many people even, like, use my Twitter to, like, know things. Um, but if you do want to follow my Twitter, I usually tweet when I'm going live. Hey, Brett. What's up? I was having some bitrate trouble, but it seems to be solved for the moment. Um, my internet is still being really slow in general as I try to... Let everyone know that we are good to go. I know this is riveting. Just give me one second and I will be right with you. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Wonderful. Okay. Whew. Back to our regularly scheduled programming. Uh, we're playing a little bit more Night in the Woods. Uh, I deadass don't really remember what happened the last time I played. I know we built like a Five Nights at Freddy's um, animatronic at one point, and there were some hell nightmares. Um, but aside from that, I I guess we just got to get into it, you know. Just gotta, just gotta go ahead and get started. Um, but hello to anyone who's in the chat. I hope you're having a good Super Bowl Sunday. Um, I have no idea who's even playing, so that's sort of where I'm at. Um, I usually at least care about the commercials, but I don't, like, have TV. Alright, check the computer. See what's new. Away message. Annual Harvest play tonight at the old pickaxe. Come out and see the haunted history of Possum Springs. Ooh, Possum Springs is haunted. Happy Halloween, dude. Oh, it's Halloween! How wonderful. Get spooked or something. Oh, Halloween's my favorite holiday. So this is perfect. And it's perfect for the scaries as well. Wow. Wow! All right, let's get spooked. I'm excited about it. Does this change? Definitely grown quite a bit since then. A little bit taller, regular bit wider. Granddad said I was sturdy. <laughs> sturdy. That's, that's I guess a nice way of putting it. Boxes cleared away. <gasps> oh, they are. Nice. Oh, oh. This seems like it maybe shouldn't be here. What the hell? There's a whole, like, hmm, an old safe. How am I going to open this thing? Dynamite? That's probably how. No. Gotta be a way to open the safe. Alright, so that's our next project. Now that we ha got Dad to open the... Or to move the boxes. Okay. It's good to have goals. It's good to have goals. Wait. Or no, that's just how I got in there. Yeah. Cool. Rock and roll. It's coming together. Mom! Mom! Hey, Mom. Mm -hmm. 
Um, you okay? Or what's wrong? What's wrong? Nothing's wrong. It seems like something's wrong. You're lying! Uh, do you feel like talking about school yet? Um, okay or not really. Uh, it's good to talk to your mom. So what's the story? I just felt like it wasn't where I should be. Where you should be? Uh, what does that even mean? Ugh, never mind. <laughs> talk about this later. You just don't understand me. Any idea when you might want to do that? Because, honey, I am all ears. I really am dying to find out. She is sounding a little passive-aggressive today. Uh, why you decided to up and abandon all the plans we've made as a family. Oh, jeez. Wow, the guilt. Laying it on heavy this morning. You know, you're the first Borowski to go to college. Yes, I'm aware. I've oh, heard that since I was, like, six. Uh, well, we've been planning for it since you were born. Spent a good 18 years. Got into all kinds of trouble. Just for you to decide you'd rather be here. Oh my god, I can't be hearing this right now. Might as well have taken that effort and money and worry and dumped it in a hole. Okay. Are you, like, having one of your mood swings again? Ugh, like, I'm the moody one in this house. Oh my god, hostile vibes. You are the moody one in this house. Well, enjoy this house while we still have it. What? Oh my god, are we, like, going broke? <gasps> Maybe it just isn't where we should be, she says. Oh my lord. Oh, I'm not telling my mom to F off. I wasn't. <laughs> I wasn't raised that way. Mom, this isn't funny. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about anything. Why start now? Well, May's certainly getting red for filth first thing in the morning on Halloween. Go off and do whatever it is you do. You know what? Maybe if I had more examples of, you know, getting out and making something of myself. No. No. You do not get to. Maybe you wanted me to get out of here because you never got around to doing it yourself. This is terrible. Yes, you're right, Brett. This is, like, so uncomfortable. Maybe I'm just the most recent failure in the line of failures that is our family. Great. Wow. <laughs> Uplifting start to the night. I'm leaving now. Oh, shit. Well, that was a bad time. Ah. I don't even know what to do with myself. Can we go this way? I feel like I always try to go this way. There's always construction. Yeah. All right. Maybe it's just not meant to be. We're going to start out on the ground today, I've decided, and not up on the up on the roofs and stuff. Hey, Selmers. Oh, decorations. Can't mess around on Halloween. Jeez. Want to hear a new poem? Absolutely I do. Sure. Bats and moon against the gloom. The night is black. I made a snack. Cool. I microwaved micro -waved. Pizza I'd saved. Though pizza cold is breakfast gold. That is true and facts and correct. Yes. That really happened. Wow. Big Halloween fan here. Then why did you just put your decorations up today? If you're a big Halloween fan, your decorations should stay up. Going to Harfest? Nah, staying here for the trick-or-treaters. Oh, I love trick-or-treaters. You are a saint. I miss trick-or-treaters. I haven't gotten to see trick-or-treaters in like three years. At least. Harfest is dumb. Really? I love it. I mean, are you eight years old? Maybe. Fine, be that way, Selmers. Hi. Don't touch my pumpkin. 
You know what? Just because you said that, I'm going to touch it. Touch. <laughs> Anarchy! Nothing much going on down here. Meow, 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 meow. Oh, what's happening over here? Ferris wheel looks like a nightmare. Thanks, Colleen. That's helpful. What's wrong with it? These guys are always bickering. Oh, yeah, that's fair. I also don't really trust like that. Uh, since 1984. Maybe that's a clue we should retire it. Shut up, Andrew. Okay, everyone, let's just take a step back and cool down. We are going to have the hit record at Harfest tonight. Fine, then. I'll send all the lawsuits your way. Bring it, Colleen! <laughs> I love these old people. They're so mad. Uh, excuse me? Why are you... Th Hello? Alright, they're just gonna keep bitching. Oh, hey, um, Aunt Mall Cop. <laughs> Mall Cops don't carry guns, May. Jeez. Guess you need that gun for... What are you doing? Blocking off the road. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't want to do that without a gun. <laughs> you know how many times I've shot someone? Damn, everyone is getting in my face today. <laughs> no, tell me now. Once. Oh, did you kill him? So you're saying you don't really need it then? She probably doesn't. She carry a battle axe. That would be impressive. I'll look into it. Alright, well, good. At least my suggestion was noted. Excuse me. Okay. Alright. Possum Springs Harfest. Aw, everything is so great and harfesty. Which is basically just a less spooky Halloween? Whatever. I just want to head home and get ready for tonight. I could just do that. Or I could wander a bit, take in the harvesty air. Well, I'll get home when I when I do. Yeah, I want to explore. Hello, child. Hype for Harfest? Uh, Harfest is pretty dumb, right? Why does everybody hate Harfest? I'm going to watch a bunch of old Dracula movies from the 60s. That does sound pretty fun, though. Yeah, that sounds really cool. It is. I'm gonna get a pizza, too. Man, that sounds like the best night ever. Oh god, I keep yawning. I'm so sorry. Wow, you have life way more figured out than I did at your age. Really? What were you doing then? Hanging out in really embarrassing places online. That's what I was doing. Or ruining my life. Let's go with the first one. Yep. See ya. Later. Oh wait, there's more. Chill night. I know, I want to, like, watch a bunch of old movies and eat a pizza. That sounds great. <sighs> meow, meow. Alright. Gotta keep moving. Take in the harvesty air. Are they ready for harvest at the video outpost, too? Happy Halloween! Haha, <laughs> <laughs> hey, you too. You feeling spooky? You feeling Sunday scary? Oh, extremely, can't you tell? Do your spooky face. Oh, oh, his ears went up, that's great. Angus, you're just smiling. And it's adorable, not scary. Oh, nice effort though. Heh <laughs> heh. All right, not much else to see in here. Have a good day, Ango. See you later. Okay. Possibilities, rest in peace. Oh, these guys we gotta talk to because it's the Super Bowl. Going to Harfest? Nah, gonna watch the game. Is there a game tonight? Well, no, but I was gonna watch my fave highlights. Why don't you come on out? Might be good. Stretch your legs, see the parade. Ever seen the game live? <laughs> this, like, stoner bird doesn't know what to do with this information. Ah, ever. Come on out to Harfest, you never know. Yeah, alright. Yeah, go smelters! Go smelters. 
I hope the smelters win the Super Bowl. Oop, didn't mean to do that. Snack, Falcon. Hello, friend. Hey, man. How's things? Good, Harvest Rush. No one's in here. <gasps> I cannot stop yawning, I'm so sorry. You missed it. The horror. Oh. I done got horrored. Getting horrored at work is the worst. Or when is this place busy? Getting horrored at work is the worst. When I had that job that one time, I worked the longest night rush. You know, you've never mentioned having a job? Oh, that's a story for another time. Anyway, you're here now, and I'm here now, and it's a lovely day. And I was worried I'd have to smash these light bulbs all by myself. So what's up? Nothing. Um, I'm very interested in this light bulb smashing. I am indeed. Hell yeah, dude. Let's smash some light bulbs. Aw, oh, yeah. Oh! <laughs> oh my god! What? Throw another one. Ah! Oh, this is great! What a fun little mini game we have here. Alright, I'm gonna see if I can... No, that was... Yeah, that was way over my head. I could never have hit that one. What? Ow! <laughs> Why would you do that? Oh, I missed that one too. You should try hitting it with the bat. I am trying. Ow. <laughs> ah, what the F? I like how the can say F. Like, rip me. Hit it. Buddy, I don't know how. Oh, got that one. Haha. <laughs> yeah, see? I can hit. I can hit things. Oh, I missed it. I missed it. Whiff. Rip. F in the chat. Ow! <laughs> I keep trying to hit them, and then not. Oh, that was terrible. Oh, but I got a little doodle. Smash! Greg rules, okay? So what's up? Nothing. Oh, okay. Alright, bye. So we did the snack falcon. I think this is as far as we can go. Oh wait! Or not. The heart of hometown since 1972. Oh, the food donkey. It's closed though. Alright, well. Hey guys, what's up? Hey Germ. Hey May. I'm Scans. Scans? That's Jenna. Okay. Hi. I'm Bill Dawn. And I'm Germ. Yeah, I, I, I know who you are, Germ. I completely forgot what I was going to say. Hey, Germ, you coming to Harfest? Yeah, maybe. Are you guys going? Yeah, we might hop over, check out the party. I mean, y'all got ghosts here for real, right? We sure do, I assume. What? <laughs> little Joe, you know? Who the hell is Little Joe? Yeah, man, local legend. My man Tapeworm? Out in Bright Harbor? He told me he never got off in this town because of the ghost. <laughs> what? That's a load of crap. He sneaks into rail yards and snatches up the good and the pure. Well, you kids got nothing to fear then. Damn it, old timer, we're as pure as the air. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess I'll see some of you there. Nice to meet you. Oh, what an interesting bunch. See you, Germ. Wait, I do want to see if how far I can go. Alright, yeah, that's the end. Okay, cool. I didn't even know this was all out here. Is there more that can be said to Germ? Nope. Cool. Well, I'll just do some walking up on some power lines. Am 
and then we can see what harvest is all about. Oh wait, let's go underground. See if that old lady wants to tell me more about my- Oh, what are you? Where is everybody? Oh, can't hear you. What? Oh my god, we used to do that. Awesome. <laughs> what? Hello? You go easy on my street. Hello? Okay. A little disconcerted, but I guess that's fine. A little disconcerted by that. Alright, looks like that little old lady is not here. Should I try to feed the rats again? I bet some rat babies would love a delicious pretzel. Everything's fine and normal. Don't have to look over here. Ah! Aww. Amateur hour. Oh well. We'll get him next time. Okay. Let's see. The justice. There we go. Let's see what's going on up high. Up high in the sky. Let's see. I move faster if I just hop. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I see over here. Hello. I mean, you saw that too, right? There was something. Hi, Michi. How are you tonight? Watching the Super Bowl? Is that still even going on? I know very little about the Super Bowl. Wait, there it was again. Hmm, don't think I've ever read this plaque before. On all day apple bomb, a father to all workers. A grandfather to their children. A great grandfather to those children's children. Keeps going like that for a while. Erected 1910. Ah. He has this dude right outside her window. Constantly. Arnold Stalker Bomb. Good. No, Kevin is though. I'm playing Assassin's Creed. Oh, nice! How is that going? The new one, the, um, oh no, I already forgot what it's called, Valhalla. <laughs> Have you beaten that yet? Okay. So we read that little plaque. Let's see what all's going on up here. Careful now. It's a little anticlimactic. Okay. No, I fell off it for a while. Yeah, that makes sense. It takes it takes me a long time to beat like longer games like that because I take a lot of breaks. So I definitely feel ya. Alright, I feel like there's not much else that we can look at. I think it might just be time to head to Harfest. 
unless we want to... Can I climb up here? There we go. Haha! -ha. See what's going on up here. If anything... Possum Springs Harvest! I don't want to visit them because I don't have any food for them. And I think that would be sad. Not really much else to see as I suspected. Everyone's at the Harfest. Right. Don't have to tell me twice. I already talked to you. Let's just go on home and get ready for the big night. Halloween spooky time. That's my house. <laughs> All right, there we go. Is dad here? Kind of wanted somebody to be home so that I could thank him for taking those boxes out of the closet. All right. Get ready for the big spooky night. <laughs> oh yeah, normal clothes. Oh yeah, time to get spooky. What are we gonna dress as? Ooh, a cool wizard with a knife through her head. Very good. Witch dagger. Awesome. Cool costume. I'm excited about it. Look how spooky I am. Aw, the spookiest. Nobody's online. That makes sense. All right, let's get spooky. Oh. I thought that was going to be a cutscene. Oh, hello? Mm, they must already be out. Harvest. Yeah. Spooky times. Oh, wow. Harfest! Aw, look at all the cute little pumpkins. Alright, it's so dark. Low-key having a hard time seeing. Oh, and I can't jump. I can't jump in this costume, I guess. That's probably normal. Let's go into this tent and see what's, what's going on. Dare I spin the Wheel of Destiny? Boy, would I. None can explain the power of the wheel. Save that it is an unknowable circular soothsayer. Oh snap, is it gonna say some soothe? The sooth shall be said. Alright, hell yeah. So do I just... That was pretty good. It wasn't like at the top of the thing, but it was still pretty good. Five. What's that? A mighty spin, a commendable spin. Thank you. I worked really hard on it. Fortune is your future, a place you will soon be forever. Okay, that checks out. Your card says much. You shall see many things. There are times for running away and times for standing your ground. And you shall sometimes know only in hindsight. That seems like a really lame fortune. That's not mystical. That's just like fortune cookie stuff. The cards do not lie. The wheel that chooses the card is unknowable. So this is unknowable truth? It's like, um, in Good Omens, it's, uh, what's that? Ineffable. I'm 20. <laughs> Alright, well that was interesting. May the wheel ever spin in your favor. Whoa. Alright. 
I always wonder about stuff like that, like if you can get different stuff, or if it's the same because it's plot related, so if it's the same every time. Hold up. Colleen, how do I get into this thing? <laughs> God damn it. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Everything's fine. Okay, this is the Harvest Spooktacular Water Balloon Toss. Cool. You know what to do. Or you can figure it out pretty quick. Yeah, I, I, I would assume that we toss a water balloon. Oh. Uh. Ah. Aha! I hit the spooky ghost. <laughs> I'm a scary spirit and I've been hit. Oh, I didn't get him that time. Oh, oh missed, missed. Ha! Ah. Oh, he's getting, he's getting spry. Gonna haunt you for that. This is fun. <laughs> oh no, I'm dead. Oh, oh, this one's moving a lot faster. Oh, ah. oh gosh. <laughs> oh no, you've hit the evil witch. Ah. <laughs> get back here. Yeah, get wrecked. Get wrecked. I am a champion, a master of water balloon throwing. Oh, oh, nope, I missed, missed. Come back, you gourd. Ah. Oh, man, he's elusive, he's wily. Ha, ah. got him. <laughs> Oops, I'm the pumpkin. Ah. You move so fast. <laughs> you hit me, the pumpkin. You got me, the pumpkin. Gosh, stay still. That one hurt me. Please. <laughs> oh, a skeleton. Oh, that definitely hit you. Come on. Huh. Nope. Huh. Rattle, rattle. I'm a skeleton. <laughs> so this one, you gotta kind of throw it ahead a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh my god. Huh. <laughs> huh. Clunkity clonk. Oh, this is, this is a test of strength. Oh, I stood still for longer than I anticipated. Ha! Oh, oh, there's so many targets. Oh, oh, I don't have to hit them. That sure was something. On behalf of the Possum Springs Town Council, we urge you to support local business. Oh, okay. Enjoy your historic home. Possum Springs, more like Kathleen Bell. <laughs> More like awesome springs. Pew 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 pew. I love you, Kathleen. Thank you for that. Listen, these guys just don't know how to have fun. Okay, we're done. Like, I liked. I I think that's clever and cute. Awesome springs. What else can I do? That's right, I can't jump. Ooh, there's so much spooking going on. Hey, hey. What you up to? Oh, that's right. We, like, ruined our relationship with B the last time we were here. We're putting on this year's Harvest Pageant. Oh, right, okay. Live from the old pickaxe. When's this thing supposed to start? Uh, ten minutes, I think. You think? This is such a nightmare. Why did I ever agree to do this? Chamber of Commerce owes me big. Jeez, I hear ya. At least B didn't really have to change her aesthetic because she's already pretty goth. Okay, so here's the thing. You won't have many lines. <laughs> what? Oh, I'm being roped in. Oh, three no-shows. Why? Because this whole thing is stupid and nobody cares about it. That's fair. Please, it's a fun part. No, well, I mean, it's the least I could do after I, like, you know, destroyed her life. They rewrote it, like, six times. That's not great. To be spookier. So it's, like, 20% actual history now and, like, 80% spooks. So it's, like, fake history now. It's, like, the bad remake that doesn't respect the source material. It starts off normal, but gets... Anyway, you get like you got like five minutes to get your lines. I can wing it. May, please don't wing it. Okay, I'm gonna wing it. I have decided to wing it. Here we go. 
That's our big debut. Oh, I didn't see ye there. Be ye ghosts? Are ye here to hear the tale of how Possum Springs came to be? Oh, I don't know if that was supposed to be a joke. Through the mists of time, I see weary fur trappers from 1790. Oh, this is great. All right. From this vantage point do I spy a deep hollow and within a great dead tree. And besides which a spring. Blessed are we, Brother Stephen. <laughs> For truly my throat is parched from these long and arduous travels. And carrying these three hundred beaver pelts. Let us make haste, so excellent brother. Here I am. It's time for me to say my line. All right. Ho, travelers, spare a crust of bread for a needy woman. Or, ho, travelers, help an extremely old woman. Let's do this one. Uh, please help. <laughs> oh, no. I am made of cobwebs from being so old. <laughs> or, I must have food to restore my youthful form. Youthful form. For once I was a comely lass. It's so spooky. I can't take it. Haggard witch, hey! Horrible to look upon. Now, cruel young men, you did not even offer one of thy 300 fine beaver, beaver pelts to warm my ancient bones. Thou art a rude and naughty boy. I shall curse ye and thee. I like this one. Thou art a rude and naughty boy. Thy naughtiness must be met with punishment. I art uncomfortable. Uh -um. The punishment is a task, terrible, or thy punishment is a curse. And that shall take ye and thee even this very night. Phew. Ye he he he. I was born among these trees, neath the harvest moon, and ye shall die under that moon. Brother John, I am frightened. Faith, Brother Stephen, art thou so easily shaken by the ramblings of an old crone? Come, help me carry these three hundred beaver pelts. That's too many beaver pelts. Little did anyone know, the witch did not curse in vain. Oh shit, they're gonna die. Should have shared some of your three hundred beaver pelts. I don't know what to tell you. Didn't you learn anything from Beauty and the Beast? When there's an old woman, you just gotta help her out. Help, help. Who will help a poor traveler? Oh, look, it's, uh, Greg. Uh, uh um. Uh, by the moon and stars above us, sir, I beseech thee, what is thy trouble? It's me again. You're in this? <laughs> yup. Ah, uh, witch! Yup. I swear thee, friend, that this very day this horrifying crone did curse my brother and I to die. Wounds. We can't buy this very spring beneath the dead tree, and even now his body lieth upon the earth, lifeless as a pile of three hundred beaver pelts. Oh, it chilleth the heart. Yee <laughs> This is so spooky. I did curse this spring. Uh, a curse upon rude young men. <laughs> Sorry, I don't care if that's not the line. I said I was winging it. Um. She has cursed the spring, and now I shall die. Oh, bye. Peace. I am also undone, for I have dranketh of the water. It's only me here, Greg. <laughs> bye. Aw, oh, man, it's just me now. Yet even there, the curse's lust for blood would not be sated. Oh, there's more curses to be had, more curses to be suffered. All curses, all the time. Here in Awesome Springs. Wait, I thought you guys were dead. Why are you back? Oh, they're spirits. Gaze upon these spirits. <laughs> Brother, we are now ghosts. Ah, I am tormented by the accusing glare of 300 ghostly beavers. Nasty. Getting your comeuppance. It would seem that all who die here are cursed to never leave. Doth that witch know what she hath done? No. I barely know my lines. It is I. Uh, um. Crap. 
It's okay, we got this. Just make something up. Or, for each man is determined on his path. For what is a ghost? Oh, uh, both of those could be it. But that which haunts the empty space, that was once full. And once haunted, can a place be unhaunted? Oh, hey, it's the guy from the thing. From the bus station. Young witch! It is I, the god of the forest. Oh, shit. Uh, just didn't expect you to... Ain't that the way. So, you've tarried too long in this world. I banished thee to wander in the night. Through the stranger places. What? <laughs> oh, god, how did you know? I, what? Young witch, let me speak wisdom to you. We begin and we end at night in the woods. Hey, night in the woods, he said the thing. He said the thing. Uh, but that is not the whole of the story. This is your line. Oh, God. Force God, thou hast no power here. Yeah. Yeah. Even now thy end beginneth. Ah, my infernal powers! <laughs> Shh, young witch. Even now the world you know endeth. Who can say what lieth in the world to come? Wow. Beware as you go, for there are ghosts. Woo! Take care. I love how she was like... It's fine, you'll have, like, five lines, and then, like, made me the main character. That's typical. And so it was founded this festival. On Halloween, we shall celebrate the dying of the year and the founding of Possum Springs with just a lot of ghosts. I, Mayor Ghost, decree it. The beaver population suffered a decline, and now our biggest exports are corn and pumpkins. We used to be the county seat. Now leave before I curse you all. Yeah, this one. Oh no, audience. And that's our show. Be careful as you leave here, for who knows what may lurk in the darkness. Also be sure to pick up a flyer on your way out from the Possum Springs Chamber of Commerce. Support your spooky local businesses. <laughs> Yay, we did it. We improved our way through the leading role in a Halloween play. Fantastic. We're brilliant. This is going to jumpstart our career as a famous cat actress. Jeez, thanks, guys. I am never doing that again. Your voices are excellent tonight. Thank you. I'm getting into it. I feel like it's taken me a while to get a feel for this game. Oh, computer is dying. Gotta find the cord. Here we go. Oh no! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Sorry. Oh, she's like not wanting to go back now. Please, webcam. Please. Okay. That seems fine, right? Yes. Okay. Ooh. All kinds of things are happening. Okay. Oh, I just like, I feel like I wish that this game was this spooky all the time. Because I'm really feeling the spooky vibes. Well, I'm going home. Angus is making dinner. We're going to watch horror movies. I want to watch horror movies. <laughs> Plug in your computer before you start streaming. I never remember to. Because I always, like, I don't like to have it plugged in all the time. Because I don't want the battery to get, like, shot. Because that happened to an old laptop that I had. But, um, yeah, and I just never remember... Usually the cord is, like, not that inaccessible, but I, like, cleaned my desk today, so it's all... Everything is messed up on my desk. <laughs> yeah, like, May, have we learned nothing about inviting ourselves over to people's, like, homes? After what happened last time? What are you doing, B? Chamber of Commerce folks are going to the buffet out by Ham Panther. Kind of have to go business stuff. I hate this. But you're good at it. Both of those things can be true. It's the like and do well chart. Sometimes you do well at things that you don't like. Can I come? No. Okay. Night. Oh. Well. 
am I gonna do? I guess I could just go home. This is garbage. Mate, not everyone can hang out with you all the time. Sometimes you have to, like, do your own thing. <gasps> Hello? <gasps> Did I just watch a murder? Hello? <gasps> oh my god. Hey, anyone? <laughs> Shit. <gasps> I just watched someone get abducted. This just got intense. Uh, where the hell did he go? Shit. Uh. That's right, I can't jump in this little costume. My movement is hindered. Oh, don't like that sound. Don't like that sound one bit. Hello? Okay. Go home. There's a guy up there on the hill. He stole some kid? He looks like a ghost? <laughs> you shouldn't have said that, May. She's not gonna take that seriously. Someone got abducted. May! No, no one should be out here, but there's this guy. I'll drive you home. Oh my god. May, if you had just not said the word ghost, then your aunt, who is a cop, might have taken that a little more seriously. I can't believe you would mess up like this. How could you, May? This is so freaky. This is the, the scariest Sunday scary of this game yet. Where, where, where even are we? Is this another hell dream? The spooky noises are getting spookier. Oh no. Hello? I should have brought Ayn over here. I don't want to get spooked. <laughs> like what? Hello? Terrible, horrible. Hello? Part three. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. What? Question mark, question mark, question mark. <laughs> That's a great achievement. Uh, what is right? Like... Hello? We just witnessed an abducting? And no one took it seriously? May, thank you so much for your help last night. Woke up and realized that I completely imposed in a big way. I, like, can't emphasize this enough. I did, like, really fuck up at your house, though. So, we'll call it even. I'll be at work cleaning up after last night if you want to say hello. Cool. Hey, dude, sorry I couldn't hang last night. Inga says he's sorry, too. Band practice today. Fuck. <laughs> because I'm in charge and I say so. Off to work. Bye. Aw. Can't, can't be having band practice. Hmm. We're all looking a bit older, I guess. Weird to take, like, one moment and make it the official version of us. I wonder if the new working clock downstairs thinks this clock is scary. <laughs> Big old thing upstairs, like you but different. Huge and spooky. Making weird noises at night. Uh, I don't think I have a way to open this safe, so I don't think there's really a reason for me to be down here. Yeah, okay. No, you just gotta check things out. Okay. Oh, I can't find this thing spooky. It's a piece of granddad. We need more of those. Yeah. Hey, hun. Yeah. Come say hello, why don't ya? Okay. We gonna talk about what went on yesterday? Hey, mom. You look really tired. So do you. 
Also, I have a splitting headache. Well, the weather seems to agree with you. Gray and drizzly. That's probably why you have a headache, May. I could go over that today. <laughs> Look at her pouty little face. Hey, hon. Yeah? I'm sorry about yesterday. Me too. I said some stuff I didn't really mean it. Well, whether you meant it or not, that isn't how we should communicate. I don't want us to stop talking. I just don't want a repeat of a few years ago. Aw, I'm really sorry, Mom, about all of it. Hey, May, you okay? I'm fine, guess I'm stressed too. Saw some weird stuff last night that we did not react nearly seriously enough to. Or I think I did. Wanna talk about it? Later, I'm still like putting it together. Can we talk about school? Also later. Bye. <laughs> it's time for a gray and dreary day. Oh. Start out up top today. Actually, you know, since it's raining, I feel like this would definitely electrocute you. Like, this doesn't seem... Oh, hell yeah. The... the astronomy... Astrol... No, astronomy. Guy is up on the roof. Gotta get in on that. Let's see. How do we get over there? Ah! Why didn't you jump, May? Please, May. It's not gonna work. <laughs> Rip. I just gotta. I've been up there before. How did I get up there the last time? Maybe I have to get like all the way up. That's probably it. Please. There we go. Yeah! Time to find some constellations! Smell the autumn winds! <laughs> yeah, hard to miss it. One should not miss such a thing. Talking of, want to see some stars? Yeah! Come have a look. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Argon blind! This is your own fault at this point, I would say. Here's one. Found one. Let's see. A snake. Big snake. Big snake? Yep. Anything else? <laughs> Big snake emerged from the earth and made war upon the villages. What villages? You know, the villages. Okay. And as he wrapped himself around them, the villagers saw that they were encircled by the same big snake. And they came together, and together slew the big snake. You learn. Why did the big why did big snake attack the people? Do you have sympathy for big snake? Jeez, I don't know. But can we just keep saying big snake? Big snake. Big snake. <laughs> big snake. <laughs> I love that. All of the constellations have names that are, like, cool, and then there's just Big Snake. Big Snake. The biggest of the snakes. He's the best Big Snake. He rules the snakes. Alright, why can't I find another one of these? Oh. Oh. This one? This one right here? The... There we go. Star located, Captain. Let us consult the guide. Oh, you'll like this one. Really? Because they are dead. <laughs> okay, yeah. I'm into it. Same. <laughs> Gramercy the Medium. Is that how you say that name? In life, he spoke with the dead? Really? Who knows? <laughs> But when he died, his own spirit returned and spoke through him. Wait, that's dumb. 
How so? That's just called being alive. Or how did... Wait. What? His own spirit possessed his body. That's like literally the same thing as being alive. No, he was dead but possessed. By himself. Yes. <laughs> oh god, this is dumb. That's really weird. Why would you do that even? So what's the moral of this one? Moral? Yeah, usually star things like this have some sort of moral. Sometimes things are just strange. Yeah, you got that right, old man. That's the moral? <laughs> that is our pair for the day. Well, gee willikers, Mr. Shizakov. <laughs> willikers. <laughs> Alright, so big snake and sometimes things are just weird. <laughs> yeah, lol, it's right. Yes, it was. More in a couple days. <laughs> big snake. <laughs> Alright, cool. Thanks, Mr. Shizakov. I think that's everything up here, so I need to get back down. What did I do today? Uh, what did I do today? I mean, I cleaned and did laundry, which I do every Sunday. Um, I played a little bit of The Witcher. I read a little bit of The Witcher. <laughs> um, I've mostly kind of, I felt like, do you ever feel just kind of like off, like, like vaguely ill, but not like really ill? I just had like, like kind of pressure in my head and like a weird tummy feel for most, much of the day. So I mostly just took it easy. Nothing really exciting. Did you do anything exciting today? How's it going, Selmers? How was your Halloween? <laughs> weird, went to Harfest, saw some messed up shit that I think was real. Then had a really bad nightmare. Cool. <laughs> you too? Like, you felt sick too? Literally same. Yeah, okay, so do you think maybe it was the weather? Like, what? Why? Why did we feel this way? Because, <laughs> like, yeah, I just felt... Oh my god, yeah. Yes. Sorry if I'm yelling. But, like, yes. Um, just vague, like, it wasn't a headache, but, like, vague, almost headache, and then, like, vague, bad tummy feels all day. So I just, like, didn't really get up to much after I cleaned... That's right, Brett, too. So today just was the worst. Fuck this day. Fuck February 7th. Now, I didn't feel all bad. I wouldn't say all bad. Because it wasn't like... Like, obviously, I had enough... Like, I felt okay enough that I was able to do, like, my chores and stuff. I just felt off. Just, like, not 100%. <laughs> well, I was out living the Halloween episode. Yeah. Like, I woke up in the middle of the night like, does my tummy hurt? Or, yeah. That's, yeah, just a vague off night. Off time. Yeah. That's really odd. And what's odd about it, again, is like, oh, I didn't notice that my camera is like really, really high up. Did some chores today, but didn't feel good doing them. Yeah. Same. Wow. So today just, like, sucked. <laughs> That's really weird. I wonder if it does have to do with, like, something to do with the weather or something. Or maybe it's just, like, Mercury is in retrograde or some shit. I wouldn't be surprised. Let's hear it, Selmers. Alright, Autumn Winds. Autumn sins. <laughs> okay. Autumn times. Autumn crimes. What counts as an autumn sin? What's considered an autumn crime? Robbing a gas station and blowing it up. In November. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> hey, Mr. Chizakov. Yes, Selma? You're gonna break your neck someday. I will make sure to fall right on you. Aww. Neighborly love. Oh, You too. Wait, there's more. Sleep, sleeps. Is that a poem? Nope. Cool. 
Gotta go annoy this man. The missus varnished this porch herself. Don't go tracking mud all over it. This is just a very autumn day. Dreary and gray. Today is your last day. Aw, they're gonna miss you. Let us know how it is. Aw, gonna come visit. Aw, dear, what are we gonna do without you? Y'all wanna go see a movie or something? Yeah, let me get get settled in and we can go on an outing. Aw, you guys remember outings? Aw. I miss outings. Let's go to those movies. The old pickaxe. Oh, that's right. B said she was going to be cleaning up. So we can go say hi to her. Hey, B. Hey, uh, thanks again for last night. I owe you one. It's fine. It was fun. My night got, like, really weird and bad after. How so? Tell you later, I guess. Still, like, putting it together. Alright, well, let me know how that goes. I think it's being bright. I know. I don't want to go. Yeah, I'm going to go hunt down Greg. Shouldn't be too difficult. Yeah, no. He's in the snack falcon. I don't know how that guy stays employed. He steals constantly, breaks supplies for fun, and leaves work whenever he wants. Yeah, he does seem like a pretty bad employee. Feels more like the world plays by his rules. Whoa. I don't even know what that means. Still, though. Yeah, I didn't know that about Greg. That's problematic. Alright. War is some bullshit. You hear me, statue? I guess you were drafted. <laughs> Ugh. You died before you got to enjoy the statue they made of you. It's garbage. They can't make me go to war. I'll go underground. I'll join some sort of group that's against war and stuff. We'll blow up war stuff and sabotage other war stuff. I'll live in the shadows for decades. No address. Always on the run. Living in a trailer in the desert. It'll be awesome. For like... I assume we're in peacetime in this game. May sure has a lot to say about war for some reason. Video outpost 2. Oh. Is someone moving in? Probably something dumb. I miss you, pizza place. Rip possibilities. Let's go see what the smelters dudes are up to. It's wet again, and I'm cold again. It's just rain. Hey, uh, why are we still standing out here? Someone has to. Fair enough. Snack, Falcon. Hey, Greg. What's up, dude? Ugh. Long night, weird night. I'll tell you about band practice. Cool. What you up to? Just saying hello. Yeah, let's just go to band practice. I know that I'm supposed to explore everything, but... Sometimes, in this life... You just want to get band practice over with. Hey, dude. You okay? You look tired. I was up all night. They were fixing the roof door. It was super loud. Roof door? Yeah, the door at the top of the stairs that goes out onto the roof. Now I can, like, I don't know, run from that door down in the lobby up to the roof. And be off the side of the building? Yeah, maybe not. But what's to stop random people from doing that, too? Dude, it'll be fine. Sorry, I'm just tired. Bear. Ready to go? Yeah, let's do this shit. Oh god. Alright, pumpkin head guy. No, oh, pumpkin head guy bad. Pumpkin head guy bad. Here we go. This is a little more my speed. Nice. 
There we go. I can definitely do this. Nice. Oh no, it's getting to be hard again. <laughs> this is always so bad. At least I get this break in the middle here. Where stuff is doable. Oh, here we go. Oh no. My hands always drift off the numbers. What? This is just total guesswork at this point. <laughs> okay. That was bad. Yeah. <laughs> that was bad. Wow, May, that was a... Uh, pretty bad is what it was. Yeah, you say the same thing every time, guys. And listen, I don't know the song. <laughs> so fast. I just pushed a button. I am so tired. I strained my vocal cords yelling. It seems like maybe we shouldn't have had band practice today. Like, everyone seems to have not enjoyed that. And anyway, I don't even know if they're dreams or not. And this guy, who I think was a ghost, kidnapped some kid and also, I think, was in my head after? while I was sleeping. And anyway, yeah, I think I need to do something because this is scary. <laughs> Everyone's like, I like literally don't know what to do about that. Well, that's not what I was expecting to hear tonight. Are you okay, dude? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm kind of freaked out. It probably wasn't a ghost. Yeah, probably not. Yeah, definitely. Ugh. Okay, fine. I'll go figure this out myself. What do you mean, May? Yeah, they, they'll they help you. <laughs> Aw, dudes. Okay, fine. So we need to maybe see if there's, like, some ghosty stuff happening around here. Like, from a source we can trust. Such as... Does the newspaper have, like, a ghost section? <laughs> no, May. What? Why is that a dumb question? You know, we could go check the library. Or books about it. No, they have the local paper on file, going back a century. If there's some secret history of kidnapper ghosts, we'll find it there, probably. Oh wow, I didn't know they had that. I thought it was just like a broken down old bunch of books. When's the last time you were at the library? We actually have one of the nicer ones around. Oh, how? <laughs> Rich dude who paid for it way back when. Yeah, they set up a foundation, and... Never mind, let's go. Can we regroup after? Uh, sure. Okay, we'll be back. Alright. Ha! That's the spirit, get it? Because ghosts. We're gonna go to the library and see if we can figure out some stuff about some ghosts. <laughs> Look, jobs! Weird, like, when this was painted, it was like, Hey, look out the window! We're all working. Things are great. Now it's like one of the graffiti murals after someone gets shot or hit by a car. This mural is really affecting you. Forget that we live in separate realities. Mine's clearly better. Pumpkin head guy. Yeah. Band practice. Not good. This is the library? This is really nice. Hey. Oh, closing in two hours. Okay. Any idea where the microfish is? Microfish. Microfish. Third floor. Okay, thanks. Up, up, up. Wait. Slow night? Yep. Spooky here all alone. I'd be spooked. Meh. Larry's wandering around here somewhere. I guess we'll see if we can bump into him. All right, third floor, microfish. Third floor, 
floor, microfish. Is this the third floor, or did we just go up one? This seems right, right? Looks like someone left something open on this one. It's a resume. Bob Targ. 1967. 50 years old. Let's see. Experience in mining, construction, well drilling. I never think about getting a job when I'm old. 50 is not really old. I mean, you should have money then, right? Ideally. It should be, like, guaranteed. It should be guaranteed in general. You gotta join my young socialist chatterbox group? <laughs> okay, so I guess that's nothing. This looks like it's maybe the kids section. Holy crap. What? It's Charity Barity. <laughs> What's Charity Barity? How do you not know about Charity Barity? I assume this is something from school. The school of being five freaking years old. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I also don't know about Charity Barity. <laughs> no, I hated Charity Barity. It does look kind of hateable. It was like, you were kidnapped by a cult? You were under some curse. Let's go with cult. And when they were like brainwashing you instead of some cult guy with a wavy dagger and a magic mask. That's not... Okay, yeah, go on. Instead of that, it was this effing pink nightmare. You were scared of it? No, it was bored to death. He's talking forever about, like, being kind to others. Something May clearly didn't pick up on. And, like, I don't know, helping an old neighbor do engine something. Charity Verity helps old Mr. Polanco fix his hovercraft. Ugh, no, that's the worst part. It always rhymed. Charity Barity, Pink Mike Merity. Charity Barity, I just don't care -ity. Oh, they're books. So, this isn't even the kids section. This is just the Charity Barity section. That's pretty upsetting. I don't like knowing that. Okay, I think we have to go up one more. But at least we got to see this, I guess. I love that Bee always has a little cigarette in her mouth. I, like, can guarantee you that smoking is not allowed in here. This is a library, Bee. Alright, now we're cooking with gas. Sniff. Oh, wow, it's dusty up here. It's old up here. Old as balls. I miss going to bookstores IRL. Yeah. I do too. I miss the library. Oh, I flew over it or something. While carrying something. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go find this guy because he took someone and he's like somehow connected to this thing I've been going through and that's not good. That all sounded a lot more badass in my head. It's okay, it was fine. Alright. Let's go find a guy. Alright, there she is. So, I have no idea how to use it. Really? I can't know how to do everything. I'm sorry, but what expertise have you brought to this thus far? This whole thing was my idea. No, your idea was ghost hunting. My idea is to do at least a tiny bit of research on it. If you think it's so stupid, why are you here? Because you're my friend, you asshole. And you're not a very good friend, either. Aw. Ugh. Are we friends, be it twist? Here, let me get this set up. I'll be here all night if your dumbass is in charge. Truer words have never been spoken. Alright, so what are we looking for? I want to steer! <laughs> no. Move, I'm steering. Ow, jeez, May. May, you're the worst. How do we do this? Step one, look at the screen. Step two, move around and look at stuff. Step three, find ghost. What's the... Okay, so this one already says spectral happenings, so that seems pretty good. Uh, two local sweethearts. 
um, were startled this past Sunday night as they hiked along the wooded overlook known as Possum Jump. According to the lovebirds, at approximately 11.45 p.m., a figure appeared to walk from the edge of the cliff out into the open air and then disappeared. Forestry workers the next morning were unable to locate any evidence of anyone having leapt from the great height, leaving the exact nature of what the two saw a mystery. A decent hike Sorry, a decent hike up into State Forest Hills Possum Jump is famous for its beautiful view of the Echo Reservoir. It also holds historical importance as it hosts the lonely graves of several persons involved in the Possum Massacre. Why haven't we heard of the Possum Massacre yet? I mean, it's Possum Jump. Oh yeah, that's back up in the State Park, right? Yeah. Ever been up there? Nope! Gonna check it out, though. Let's go nuts. Events! Last Trolley, Twin Club, <laughs> Twin Club, that's fun. Uh, a Strange But True, A Tale of Teeth. Huh. Ongoing series about weird and forgotten aspects of Deep Hollow County history culture published weekly. Bad bosses figure heavily into Possum Springs history, and this morbid tale of crime and secret societies is no exception. The story goes, in 1870, a local mine boss was skimming workers on their pay. A group of miners confronted him while he was in the act. He denied everything, with many a slur, and punched the miners' leader, Darnell Glace, in the face, causing him to lose his last remaining tooth. The miners knew how much Darnie's tooth meant to him and descended on the boss. A few held the boss down while the others removed all of his teeth with pliers. The teeth were passed out to the miners, and a secret society was created with a vow to protect the workers' interests. Its membership was based on owning one of the teeth, and each was marked with a symbol of their choosing. Oh my god! The boss survived his attack, but never named his attackers for fear of implicating himself. Oh my god! Yeah, that's a lot. Okay, but that doesn't sound like anything like ghosts. Uh, the final group of bodies from the 1888 explosion have been recovered. So basically, just a lot of bad things have happened in this town, it sounds like. A lot of death, a lot of, a lot of bad stuff. It's interesting, but it sounds like an X-Files, it does. Yeah, not exactly about a ghost. Okay. Uh, we already looked at this one. Possum Massacre. No ghost to be found here. The way you say ghost, it sounds like you don't believe me. Okay. New Old Town Center. A strike. Local ghost Little Joe is at it again. Uh, oh look! Scooch so I can see. As the school children are quick to inform you, Possum Springs has at least one resident who won't show up on any census survey. Little Joe, purportedly the ghost of Joe Shade, a miner who died in mysterious circumstances some decades ago, is a favorite spook story of the whimsical and weird members of our community. Uh, his most recent activities seem to involve getting up out of his coffin in the old section of Possum Springs Cemetery strolling around unnerving visitors to the largest graveyard in Deep Hollow County. Uh, maybe Manuel will show up. I love Manuel. Any, anyone else? I guess it's just you and Michi, but um, if you haven't seen The Curly and Frequency on Netflix, that is a great little spooky show. Uh, his grave has become a destination for unruly and often destructive local youths, and as such, Possum Springs Count Council is considering erecting an iron gate to protect the historical tombstones that fill the small hollow where Joe Shade lies buried. Police have also stepped up patrols in the area, so be warned, thrill seekers. You may not see a ghost, but you may see a fight for trespass. I I don't know why I can't stop yawning. Uh, looks like they saw him in the old section. Oh cool, that's where his grave is. I'm actually interested in that. How could you not be interested? This is like actual dangerous ghost stuff. I like history. Sir, history. True. 
history that won't stay history. That's actually pretty good. See, I can be funny sometimes. Hi, piracy. Stanley T. Possum slated for demolition. Okay. Ghosts, ghosts, ghosts. <laughs> there has been another sighting of the... Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. I try. Let's see. There has been another sighting of the albino groundhog from a very reliable source this time. I just like that sentence. This time, it's from a reliable source, not that lying Jimmy. Um, okay, but that's not really. Underground gases afflict many. Strike lumbers on. Oh. I don't think there's any more ghost stuff, right? Oh, ghostly. Rumors haunt new historical society. All right. The Possum Springs Historical Society's conversion of the Schreigeist House into its new headquarters and education center has hit a snag. Custodial head Jed Nussum has resigned, citing strange occurrences in the old manor. I'd be there for hours doing my work and I'd hear someone walking around trying doorknobs. I came out to see who was fooling, but there was never anybody there, said Nussum. Trying to get this map room operational for the children all the while and looking over my shoulder expecting to see God knows what. Mr. Nussum had previously requested work to work only daylight hours when other staff were present in the building, but even that proved to be too terrifying. I don't go to the off-limits area anymore. I don't go up past the second floor. And then only go to the office. I know the others laugh, say I'm seeing little Joe or something, but they can all go spit. Little Joe for the uninitiated was a local ghost story, blah, blah, blah. Okay, ghost spotted. Historical society. History that won't stay history. In a history place. History place? Yeah, I've never been. You didn't go back in school? I think this was when I was in, wasn't in school. Oh, after the softball incident. Yeah, mostly just watched TV and did therapy. Well, it's actually a pretty cool old house. It used to be owned by one of the mine owners or something. Railroad, mine, steel mill, something like that. An actual haunted house. Uh, no. Elementary school kids are there all the time. They have, like, summer arts and crafts programs. Oh, well, still worth checking out. Okay, well, that's, like, three leads. Let's boogie. Let's boogie. Also, is that it? Yeah, or... I mean... I guess we could just check, but, like, I doubt there's anything else. Sound off. Opinion line. No spitting on the sidewalk. Yeah, I think we would have seen... Underground gases. Ten acres of land. Possum. Already read about Little Joe. Pi piracy, strike, new town center, tragedy at the mine. Did we like look at these? Oh yeah, okay. I love how they see these like tragedies where several people died. And it's like, there couldn't possibly be a ghost in that story. I borrow your car this week? Do you even have a license? I mean, no, regardless, but do you? <laughs> nope. No license, no credit cards. Don't believe in money. You just believe in other people's cars and money. I didn't choose to be born into this society. Okay, well, I have, you know, a job, so I can't drive you around to all these spots. I can maybe do the graveyard. I need to go there anyway. Cool, I'll see if Greg wants to do the other two. You know, like, and I probably don't have to say this, but just because something happened in the past doesn't mean it's going to happen again. Hey, nerd, ever hear that history repeats? It does. It does the same thing over and over again. 
I love that quote, and I never can remember who said it, but I love that quote that's like, uh, history doesn't repeat itself, it rhymes. I think that makes way more sense. Um, so we've just been in a loop since we were living in caves? Yeah, that's science. Oh my freaking god. Oh, I don't like walking very slowly in the library. Hey, Selmers, what's up? Ahem. What is... Is that Miss Quelsey? Oh wow, I haven't seen her since graduation. She was always kind of a badass. School district did not fund that art program at all, but she made it work. She was like some sort of art teacher survivalist. Wow, I never realized. I think they pay her in bits of string and empty soda cans. Thank you all for coming to the second meeting of the Possum Springs Poetry Society. How nice. You want to stick around for this? Sure, I'll, I'll, I'll see what's going on in the Poetry Society. Tonight we have new poems from myself and Fisherman Jones and Selma Ann Forrester. I will, so Selmers is, her real name is Selma, we just call her Selmers. I will start us off with one of my own. She's from some big city, right? Or they don't actually pay her in stream, right? Yeah. She ended up here. Knows. Letter to my worst student. Uh-oh, I have a feeling that's going to be me. <laughs> to my worst student, the subject of my stories I tell friends back home when they ask about life out here in the sticks, it's you. I worry at the end of my life you will be the only one I remember. Why did you key my car? I know it was you, Brian. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. That was beautiful. Is that legal? Poor Miss Quelsey. What? Talking about details about students like that? She didn't name names. Yeah, she did. <laughs> okay, no full names. Next up, Fisherman Jones. Fisherman Jones has a poem for us. Two. Two poems. They're short, though. Two poems? Take it away. Uh, hi folks, thanks. This is called Tunnel Eels. Tunnel Eels, Tunnel Eels. I do not know how it feels to be in darkness all the time, born in muck and raised in slime. But neither do you know the paths I've trudged, so it hardly seems your place to judge. <laughs> okay, that's one poem. The next one is shorter. This one is called Tunnel Frogs. Tunnel frog swims in the dark. Must think it would be a lark to be a fisherman like me. But what do you know, amphibie? That's it. That's great. Thank you, Fisherman Jones. Dude is really worried about what fish think. He definitely talks to the actual fish. That tunnel always spooks me. Finally, a poem by Selma Ann Forrester. Yay, Selmers! Take it away, Selmers. You know her? Dude, she's like your neighbor. Oh. She writes these really funny dorky short poems. I'm up for something short and funny. This is called There's No Reception at Possum Springs. She's not wrong. No reception here. I wave my black phone in the air like a flare, like a prayer, but no reception. I read on the internet baby face boy billionaire. Phone app sold made more money in one day than my family over a hundred generations. More than my whole world ever has. World where house buying jobs became rent paying jobs became living with family jobs. Boy billionaires. Money is access. Access to politicians waiting for us to die. Lead in our water. Alcohol and painkillers. Replace my job with an app. Replace my dreams of a house and a yard with a couch in the basement. The future is yours, forced 24-7 entrepreneurs. I just want a paycheck and my own life. I'm on the couch in the basement and there in the house and the yard. Some night I will catch a bus out to the west coast and burn their Silicon City to the ground. Hell yeah, Selmers. Holy shit. Wow, damn. Huh. She rhymed entrepreneur. I don't even know what that word means. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. She always like this? No. Wow. Huh. Thanks, everyone. See you in two weeks. Hey, Selmers. What? I liked your weird poem. Thanks. I wrote it myself. Wait. 
was the assumption that she didn't write it herself. Nice work, Smelmer. Don't like that nickname. <laughs> it's cool. Here we go now. Achievement unlocked. Poets of Possum Springs. Alright, thank you for coming, everyone. We live here. <laughs> right, so... Find out anything about your ghost? Yeah! Tell him, B. There were some newspaper clippings that talked about a ghost. Not just any ghost. Little Joe. I don't really remember Little Joe. He's a ghost miner. He died in mysterious circumstances. Wow. I know, right? Mysterious. I thought you were, like, afraid of this ghost. Like, filled with, like, dread and shit. I'm terrified! Okay. So it mentioned three different places we can all check out. Uh, I have work and stuff. Yeah, Greg and I also have work. You guys skip out on work all the time. Maybe we can, like, split this up. Share custody of you and your ghost. What places were you thinking about? Uh, the graveyard? I call that one. It's close and not illegal. Is there an illegal one? Sure is. The Historical Society. You know, you don't have to, like, break in. People there, like, get paid to show it to you. Anyway, <laughs> I'm in for the Historical Society. Awesome! So what did I get stuck with? Possum Jump. I know Possum Jump. We used to go there in Scouts. Perfect! Okay, I need to, like, actually get home and do work. This is gonna be awesome! And also, I'm scared to death! Oh, let's see. Ta-da! It's Selmers, a good poet. Thought, if I die, Selmers should write a poem about it. Very good. Erg. Yeah, seems like that's going around. The erg. Yeppers. So, uh, you and Mom had a bit of a fight yesterday, huh? Yeah. I thought you two were getting along. We were. We are. Uh, hmm. Interesting distinction. We are. Just a bump. You two. Always two alike. I guess. I got your chill and her smartassness. I just hate to see you two on the outs again. It'll be fine. We're cool. Might just head up to bed tonight. Sounds good, kid. Been a long couple days. Let's rock. No more new picture thing, no more clock thing. Just straight to bed. Oh no. <laughs> no, don't do that. Please. We gotta sleep. Oh, well, I didn't really mean to get on the computer, but... Uh, let me know when you want to hit the cemetery. Should be around most of the week. IDK, thanks B. Don't thank me too hard. I'm going there anyway, and it's, like, right down the road. You're ruining this. Oh, in that case, you are so incredibly welcome, and also you better not forget this big favor. That's more like it. I'm falling asleep. Had fun tonight. Sorry if I was grouchy. It's just... <laughs> it's fine. Wait, did you fall asleep? Lol. Yo, I looked up the Historical Society on the internet. It's real old, but then they did big renovations. Oh, really? I mean, listen, I'm not saying there's a ghost, but old stuff that just got torn up seems like ghost central. How so? You're a ghost hanging out in an old house and then someone puts in a pool where you died or something? Haunted pools would actually be pretty scary. Really would. I'm spooked. I'm going to bed. Hey, Mae. Let me know when you want to go to the park. I looked up a map and it's a pretty straight shot up to Possum Jump. Okay, great. We never really get a chance to hang out. It'll be fun, I think. Okay, I'm going to sleep. Night, sir. Cool. Alright, seems like we've got a plan. Time to go to sleep. Oh, am I going to have a hell nightmare? Yes. Here we go.
we go. I don't like these because... Ah! <laughs> well, because that happens. Um, but also, it's hard to see. Whoa! Cool. Big fish. I was ready for it that time. You're not going to scare me. Hell nightmare. So we got this fool. At least I know how these work now. Hello, big fish. Oh! That got really loud really suddenly. Ah, there's ghosts and spirits. Oh, here's another one. Oh, yeah. Put some mustard on that. Let's see if we can't... Well, I was gonna try to go down, but... I don't really like these, like, shadowy silhouette bodies floating around. Oh, here's one. Oh, well, this one's, like, been weirdly easy. I say. Now the last one's gonna be impossible to find. Sideways buildings are weird. Nope. Thought I was going to be able to jump on that, and it was not the case. I just keep running all the way over here. Nope. Doesn't seem like there's anything now. I thought I was going to be able to jump on that. <laughs> This one's a lot easier to see than the last one, at least. Hello, big fish. Please don't eat me. I, I would find that very disagreeable. Uh, there's gotta be one up here somewhere. There you go. Right here. If we can't get back down. That's gotta be a record. Hi. Oh, God. Oh, no. The fish got eaten by a big bird. Dreadful. Bad. Sure, that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> Dream symbology. That's not a thing. Symbology, symbolism, maybe. Come on, Jules. A new day. Another day, another dough lore. How are people always like awake before me? Last night inspired me. For the longest night, I'm getting you a library card. You're welcome. Dude, my mouth tastes weird this morning. Like a tire. 
I love how trippy the dreams are. Yeah, me too. And spoopy, very spoopy. I'll be at work trying to wash it out with whatever's in the cooler. Away message. Planets are to be pitied as they cannot know how big and cool they are. <laughs> Dr. Kathy Conklin, National Astronomy Division. Thanks. Great. Okay. It's a new day. Let's go say hi to mom. Morning, sunshine. You feeling okay? You look a little limp. <laughs> yeah, uh, weird dreams. Weird night. You say weird a lot. Just being honest. You taking headache meds? They're in the bathroom cabinet. Yeah, I am. They're kind of working. Kind of not. Maybe you need more sleep? I mean, more than the ten hours or so you already get? You've always been my sleepy girl. Oof. <laughs> what did you do last night? to the library with B. Sounds nice. It was. It was weird. Interesting. Okay, gotta go. You stay fun. Take it easy. You really do look a little tired. Getting out makes me feel better. Me too. Maybe it's a good day to get out in the fresh air. I'll let you know. Hi, sweetie. Well, if it's a nice day, maybe we should go to the graveyard since it'll be outdoors. It does seem like a nice day out. How lovely. Alright. I don't know why I'm starting out up here. Nothing's gonna be going on up here if, uh, if, if, uh, Mr. Chizokov's not around. Oh! Or maybe there will be something. Seems like somebody's up there. Wait, ah! Uh... Wonder if the squirrels ever steal undies. That would be a very unfortunate time. No, I missed it. Oh! Come on, May! There we go. Hey, little girl. I'm a legal adult. Oh, sorry. Who are you? Liz, I used to live here. Where? This building right here before you were born. Why did you move away? Went to school, wandered off, I guess. Do you like it better where you live now? It's nice. Possum Springs is nice, too. I think it's alright. It's alright. Yeah, pretty alright. And I was a girl about your... I'm 20. Height. <laughs> I used to lay awake at night, worried that statue would come to life and climb in my window. Oh jeez, that's spooky. You never want someone hanging around outside your window. Not magical evil statues, at least. Yeah, nothing evil or magical should get that close. I live in the attic. No one can get to my window. That's good. Not even vampires or warlocks or skeleton men. I'm glad we have this talk. Me too. See ya. That was nice. That's likely to be the only thing going on up here today, though. Uh, how do I get down? do I get down? I should have just kept going the other way. Here we go. Nice autumn day. Hey, Selmers. You were great last night. Oh, thanks. Having you to bounce ideas off helped. I am good for that. Want to hear a new one? Yes. This is a short one, because I'm tired. <laughs> Me too, so that works out. I got mad one time. It was online. I've been mad on the internet before, too. It's crazy-making. 
What were you doing at the library? I go to the library. No, but seriously. Laying down, so I'm lurking, but just heads up. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, no, it seems like that's just kind of the vibe today. I hope you feel better, though. And thanks for the lurk. Sorry, I'm not being more chatty. That's okay. I figured it would be kind of a slow night with the Super Bowl and everything, so... I'm not too worried about it. You just take care of yourself. I play a mean banjo, Clawhammer. Cool. I play bass. You know Long Black Veil? Yep. You know Tom Dooley? Yep. Oh my god. This guy. <laughs> Fine. I don't need you, old man. I don't even know what I want to do today. Like, where I want to go. They just leave the band stuff in there, but if someone steals it. What if the building falls down? I should start taking Greg's base home, just, you know, in case. Maybe. Hey, man. I think I'm gonna burn this place down. Oh, cool! But also, maybe it might have consequences? We could take the insurance money and, like, not do this. What if you get caught? I saw a show where they caught someone doing that. You're gonna burn this place down for me. Oh, cool! But also, maybe I'd go to jail? No, you have no motive. No one would suspect. So work's not going so well. Ugh. Okay, I'll actually do it. Please don't actually do it. Okay, fine. Did you want to check out the graveyard? Yes. It's a nice day out, and I think the graveyard would be good. And I know I told Bri I would explore everything. More. I will be real with you. I am kind of tired. <laughs> Foggy. Always got that even and fall fog. Collects between the ridges. It's spooky. I don't know. Good spooky. I get really sad because it's not there year-round. Yeah, I wish it was spookier more often. I'm I'm a fan of spooky things. Which you may know already. <laughs> well, there's the statue. Ooh, also spooky. <laughs> I thought you were, like, actually kind of afraid. I mean, I am, but, like, whatever. So we wait here? Yeah. And a ghost shows up? This isn't dumb. Don't act like this is dumb. Hey, I'm along for the ride. Okay, so I guess we're just... Hanging out. No any ghost stories? Not off the top of my head. Spooky vibes. Okay, what's scary? Uh... Things are, like, monumentally screwed up right now, and no one in power gives a shit, or they're actively making it worse, out of spite or for profit. Whoa, jeez. I meant, like, a skeleton or something. Oh, right. Sorry. Okay, okay, okay. We'll have a spook-off. I say something, and you make it spookier. Alright. How about this? Okay, a skeleton in your hallway at night, or a skeleton outside your window. Ooh, hallway is definitely scarier. A regular stranger dude in your hallway at night. That's pretty bad, too. And he's got a knife. <gasps> and he's whispering things. And he's a health insurance industry exec. <laughs> okay? He wants to profit off your sickness and fear. What's he whispering? <laughs> Complicated fine print. B. This isn't fine. <laughs> and he's a ghost! <laughs> Thank you. The whispering ghost of a, um, healthcare executive. All the things you're afraid of are boring. <laughs> the scariest stuff is, like, really, really boring. Oh 
my god, Beatrice. What were we supposed to be doing? Watching a statue or something? This is dumb. Let's go. I'm just gonna see if there's anything a little further down. Probably not, but never hurts to look. Okay, so... I'm gonna go visit my mom. She's right down there. Oh, okay. Give me a minute or two, okay? Totally no problem, sorry. Sorry about what? About your mom and all. It's okay, it happens. Cool, cool, cool. I'll check out some graves. Alrighty. I took a class on death and dying when I couldn't get into the dinosaur class back in my school. It's like something I actually know about. Cool, I'll meet you back up here then. Let's check out a grave or three. What? Uh. Rose. Mm, standard headstone, nothing fancy. Clearly religious. Can't really be sad about this. 95 years, wow. She was born, the most high-tech thing was horses. <laughs> she had to, like, look out the window to see a horse. Now we have, like, pictures of horses on the internet. Like any horse you can think of. She saw us from horses to internet horses. Decent run. Let's look at another. Oh no, taken by flu, 14 years old. Oh dang. Lived like 14 years, that's not enough time. Probably never said anything anyone could understand. <laughs> you should get off at least one good sentence in life. I feel that in my soul. Oh god. Hello. Hey. Evening. Evening. What you up to, bud? Looking for a ghost while my friend visits her mom's grave. You? I'm the grave digger, groundskeeper, what have ya. Can we talk shop for a sec? Shoot. Do you dig the graves with a shovel, or do you get spooked out here all by your lonesome? Nah, I work here. Tends to take the spook out of the place. Does job pay well? You thinking about digging graves? Depends on the pay. Not much. Oh. I'm a wedding DJ on the side. Friggin' sweet. I will rock you. Hard. Sounds great, my man. Well, see ya. Good luck finding your ghosts. Grave guy. Career idea. Grave digger. Yeah, we could probably do that. Brad Boyson. Ooh, fancy. This guy was a fancy guy. Hmm. I'm gonna guess he crashed his bike. He was hit by a bike. Or he loved his bike. I mean, he probably loved his bike. He loved it so hard. He smooched it. So right. Jeez, B. How long does a mom does it take? May, you are so insensitive. TikTok, Beatrice, we got places to be. Yeah, yeah you are, May. God! You're the worst friend ever! I like, like, unbelievable. Is everything always about you all the time, May? Hey. Uh, how'd it go? Fine. She's still there! Were you worried that. You know how we've been having sinkhole problems in town? Yes. That's what was wrong with your street. Anyway, my mom's buried in a pretty low spot, couldn't afford the hill, so I was worried. Like, you're worried the ground's just gonna, like, cave in? What part of sinkhole is difficult for you to understand? We're in a graveyard! They shouldn't make these where sinkholes are a problem. Yeah, and they shouldn't build towns that flood, and yet here we are. Okay, you ready? You know, when I was down there, I think I heard music from the top of the hill. And, like, voices. Huh. That's, uh, spooky. Yeah. Not sure what's going on up there. Let's go find out. You coming? Oh, yeah, sure. Alright. Top of the hill. Top of the hill. Let's find out what's going on up here. Spooky music. Oh, this is very spooky. Hello. Oh, we are 
travelers. You seek answers among the dead. They shall give you none. Who the hell are you? Mere messengers, observers, meddlers. <sighs> teens. They're weird teens. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Alright, well. We are the keepers of the gate. There's a literal gate you're sitting in front of? We govern who shall pass. And who shall remain. Alright, well. Answer us these questions truthfully. What? And you may pass into the realms of the dead. Okay, 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 fine, whatever. Get on with it. First question. Have you ever done it? <laughs> done it? You can just call it sex. We're grown-ups here. Well, we are at least. Answer! I mean, I don't know. I have no idea if May has done it. She's 20. She dropped out of college. I don't know. I can't make this kind of assumption about a person. I'm just gonna say no. Never got around to it. And you? Yeah. What? When? Summer before 11th grade. Really? How did I not know this? This was when you weren't talking to me. <laughs> Who? Who did this happen with? <sighs> you don't know him. It was at math camp. Math camp? Hell yeah. What is math camp? You go and do like math stuff. And camp stuff. And apparently have lots of sex. You know, actually, when I went to Governor's Honors, which was abbreviated GHP, they used to call it Go Home Pregnant. <laughs> so, the nerds do be getting it on. I will say that much. It wasn't good. Not top-notch math, though. This is boring. Next question. Jeez, fine. Describe your dream date. These are the stupidest questions. Yeah, don't you want to ask something, like, spooky at least? Ah, <sighs> dream date. He'd be tall, dress cool, really smart, like good music, and we go to the movies. Boring. You? <laughs> wrestling. <laughs> like, you're gonna wrestle, or you're gonna, like, watch wrestling? You go to see wrestling. I could wrestle. I don't care if it's a guy or a girl. But they'd have to be like, grrr. Because I don't even want to date someone who's not grrr. So you're going to wrestle this person. Yeah, that'd be super tough and cool. And we'd be all tired and dirty and bleeding. And then we'd like lay on the floor and tell each other secrets. That's actually really sweet. I guess. What do you want from me? Next question. What is your most embarrassing experience? Just go with it. One time I farted in front of the class. That's bad. Haha. <laughs> that's it? What were you expecting? Okay, that sucked. Now you go. <sighs> one time at junior high, one time in high school, or one time in college. With high school. I went to the problem with this guy, Cole. Oh wow, I've been wanting to hear this story for years. And it was awkward, and I had to wear a dress, and I couldn't slow dance, and he was really nice and stuff, I guess. And I tried to kiss him, but somehow I screwed up and drew blood? You bit him? How bad did you mess up this kiss? I have no idea, but he was bleeding a lot. So, like, rushed him to the bathroom to get paper towels, so I'm shoving these paper towels into his mouth. And I overdo it, and he starts choking and, like, fighting back, and I'm, like, chowing down on candy almonds. From where? I stole them from the tables and shoved them down my dress. So I'm like plowing through these almonds. And one gets caught in my throat. Poor Cole has like slumped against the bathroom wall. I try to give myself the Heimlich maneuver. And it works, but... But... I puke all over Cole. Chicken cordon bleu. This is amazing. <laughs> right then, someone walks in and sees Cole dazed and bleeding and choking. And me puking into the sink. So I pull all the paper towels out of Cole's mouth, and for some reason, I think to flush them down the toilet, and that makes the room glow. So I grab Cole and pulls him out of the bathroom, both of us covered in puke and blood and toilet water. And he ran away and left. And he was my ride. How did you get home? Uh, that kid, Josh, who rode his tractor to prom, so we're slowly driving to my house, cars slowing down and honking, while I'm on the back crying my eyes out. It was seriously messed up. 
Hey, I... I have nightmares about it, like, once a week. I'm gonna have nightmares about it. Same. That's devastating. We pass now? Yeah, nobody's gonna top that. You have come face to face with your lowest moment. You may pass unburdened. Unburdened? Yeah, for real. Okay, let us pass already. Power to pass. It's in your hands all along. That's dumb. <laughs> what the effing hell? God damn it. Go to hell, teens. Ah, <sighs> oh, yeah, the teens. Ugh. Youths. Youths, am I right? I like her little glowing cigarette. That's, that's, that's fun. Well. <laughs> Too bad about those teens, huh? So, like, ghosts. Ghosts? Like, I don't know if I believe in them, but... So you know how you said you've been seeing ghosts at night? I mean, I don't super believe it's not just dreams, because obviously it's dreams. Okay, that's certainly your take on it. Like, did you ever see my mom? I can't really tell. I don't think the ghosts were like people. Like they're not sitting around being ghosts. It's more like echoes. Echoes of shit that happened and people that were here. Oh. Trust me, none of the places looked like super much fun. Your mom was rad as hell. Too rad to hang there. Haha, <laughs> that's like... I appreciate you trying to turn this around. <laughs> Doing my best. Alright, anyway. So the bad news is that we're locked out by that big ass gate. Why make a giant gate in a graveyard? Uh, what are we gonna do? Go do your thing. My thing. You're good at this kind of thing, brute force and shit. I gotta do everything around here. Wait, what am I doing? Breaking a gate? Jumping over a gate? I was never gonna make that. Made it. Okay, so what am I doing now that I'm here? Ghost. There's no way I'm going to leave me behind. Ugh, Beatrice. Just learn to jump. Not with those scrawny legs, I guess. How do I break that gate open? So I guess I probably have to find something which to break the gate. There's gotta be a way to break that gate open. Is it just gonna keep saying that? Yeah, okay. <sighs> hey, yeah. Oh no. Go down. Hey. accidentally hitting control instead of right. No, no. Or left, rather. Ah! Okay. Hmm. Okay, so I can't go any farther until I find a way to break the game. On this branch a lot. Seems pretty sturdy. Oh, here we go. 
Yeah. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Screw that gate. I sure hope nobody saw that. We're gonna get sued. I don't think anyone's back here. It's getting late. You're welcome, by the way. Yeah, see, I told you you're good at this. My back hurts. So what do we need to do? Uh, we're gonna find Little Joe's grave, and if he doesn't show up, we're gonna knock on it until he does. You're not allowed to destroy anything. I already destroyed a gate. I mean, at this point, like, at this point, what's the difference? Oh, look at all the fireflies. Joe Shade. This is him. Around here is all swampy. Gross. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna look around for ghosts. Don't make this a thing. It's not a thing. It's cool. I am here for you right now. Sorry, you had a tone. Tone stowed. Thank you. Alright, let's go look for ghosts. Any ghosts over there? No B. No, I'd say. I will let you know when I see a ghost. Found some old stuff. Graves? Wow. <laughs> oh, I can't jump. No jumping on gravestones. This grave is for a horse, I think? I don't think they ever buried horses in people graves. <laughs> Imagine the big horse-sized coffin. Imagine. Do they bury horses? Like, are there horse graves? Is that a thing? I feel like nothing's gonna happen. <laughs> this is stupid. What were you expecting? Something. It's just stupid. He didn't pop out of the ground or anything. Is, is that what you were expecting to happen? <laughs> this is stupid! I'm gonna smash his shit up. Uh, oh, dude, hold up. No, please don't. Please don't fuck up a grave, May. Okay. Looks like we're not gonna fuck up a grave. Okay, wonderful. Oh, God! Oh, no. I'm doing it. It's all May's fault. Are we in a grave? What did you do, May? I didn't tell you to do that. About the sinkholes. We're lucky it wasn't deeper. Wait, is that? Yeah, that's a coffin. You guys. No! <laughs> May! No, we're not gonna open a coffin with a rotting corpse in it? Hey, it's been a long time. He's not rotting anymore. Jeez, God, we are not doing this. We are leaving. Are you kind of curious, at least? Yeah. Oh my God, no. This is like... This is crimes. This is criminal crimes you could go to jail for. <sighs> One, two, three... supposed to be doing. What am I supposed to be reaching for? Which way does this thing open? <laughs> this stupid shaky hand. Oh. Ah! Spooky! So what foul play? Who knows? We're detectives! Wait, we're not. We're like criminal vandals. Or like grave robbers or something. Those two. We're a lot of things right now. Shh. What? So there's someone back there watching us. No! Oh god. I don't know where they went. Just like, out of the corner of my eye. Said. I don't know, but we need to leave now. It could be the ghost. No, we're gone now. I'm with B. Okay, fine, jeez. Yeah, no, I don't need to be getting- It's him! I don't need to be getting abducted. Not tonight. Well, that was weird, huh? Weird? It was not weird. That was like a crime. Did you see the ghost? He was there. 
How do you know the ghost is a dude? <laughs> okay, fine, but he was there. May, it was the groundskeeper or something, investigating who was ruining his graveyard. How do you know the groundskeeper is a dude? Oh, shut up. <laughs> I saw the effing ghost. We saw someone. There are other people in the graveyard, you know? Ugh, whatever. We're leaving before the cops get here. Too spooky for me. Skull hole. Little Joe's dang skull. Is this why his spirit wanders? Must he be avenged? Saw him. Hi, Dad. Hey, you. You okay? Yeah, weird night. You look really worn out. Yeah. Jeez, I am sore tonight. Need a back brace or something. How do you do it? Do what? Always oh, running and jumping around all crazy. I don't know. I mean, I'm really out of shape. I don't think I've ever been in shape. I used to be, but that was because of my job. Your job don't require much like that. Yeah. Okay, go to bed, you. Will do. Alright. Please go up the stairs, May. <sighs> Alright. Well... I guess I can check my messages, and then we can call it a night. Maybe you awake? Very much am. Doing bills and eating your grilled cheese. What's up? Sorry I kind of wrecked the cemetery. I know that's not something you'd normally want to do. It's okay, I know you didn't mean to. I mean, what's a grave defilement or two? How uh, about that ghost, though? May, seriously, it was the groundskeeper. <laughs> it was a ghost. What? It was like right there. It was totally the same guy from the other night. It was just a normal dude. How could you even make him out anyway? It was so foggy. I could tell, okay? I could feel it. Honestly, we're lucky it was so foggy or he'd be able to identify us to the police. Ah! Fine, whatever. Sorry, I made you mad. It's fine, it's fine. Thanks for going with me. I drove. You came with me. Okay, thanks for going. You're welcome. Get some sleep. Oh, sleep, yes. I too need some sleep. Yo, yo. Dude. Hey, hey, hey. How was your spooky night? Dude, we went to the cemetery and we accidentally, like, opened a coffin. It was, like, totally a corpse of a ghost. Or, you know what I mean. Whoa! And it was, like, effing nuts, man. Did you see your ghost? I totally did. Must be on the right track. Dude's probably pissed that you messed with his grave. Oof, you're right. Whatever. Okay, I'm going to bed. Good job on, like, all of that. You know it, dude. Good night as hell, brah. Alright. Good night as hell. That, I believe, is where I am going to... That's not what I meant to do. Uh, I don't actually know how to get to the menu. Wait a second. How do I... How do I save? Uh... Oh no. Well, I need to figure out how to save my game. But, I will do that off stream. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go to bed. I'm not gonna be doing a raid, I don't think, because I think there's only one of you. <laughs> so, uh, I hope everybody has a good night. I will see you on Tuesday at this same time, 7.30 p.m. Eastern, um, where I will probably be playing, I assume, a little more Kingdom Hearts, but we'll see when we get there. Uh, yeah, have a great night. I'll see you on the next one.